With sporadic cluster infections continuing in the Seoul metropolitan area, a new outbreak has occurred in Seoul recently. Quarantine authorities warned that the upcoming vacation season could bring about a new surge of cases and urged the public to follow precautions. A coffee shop in Gangnam-gu district, Seoul. Two people held a meeting at the facility with a person confirmed to have COVID-19 on July 27th have tested positive. One more person, their contact, was also found to have been infected with the virus. The initial spreader also visited a restaurant in Sochogu district, infecting one restaurant customer, one worker, and their three contacts. Nine people have tested positive in this cluster. Authorities are investigating the source of the infections. Two cases related to a nursing home in Gangsogu district and one more at an investment firm in Jongnogu district have also been confirmed. Cases outside of the Seoul metropolitan area are clearly going down lately. However, cluster infections are still rampant in the capital and the neighboring areas. Quarantine authorities warn the upcoming vacation season could adversely affect the battle against the pandemic. They also introduced precautions taken by six beaches in Chungcheongnam-do province as an example of proper quarantine measures. These beaches require visitors to undergo temperature checks and wear wristbands. No eating and drinking after 7 p.m. 비서철 휴가지에서 3일, 즉 밀집, 밀접, 밀폐된 환경은 피하시고 야외 활동을 하시더라도 마스크 착용과 사회적 거리두기는 다소 과할 정도로 지켜주실 것을 재차 당부드립니다. Meanwhile, regarding the Korea Medical Association's plan to hold a strike on August 14th to protest an increase in medical college students, the government pledged to continue negotiations on the matter while fully taking into account the sector's opinions.